How to set up the SIG marking machine stylus for optimal performance. Before initiating the marking process, it is crucial to adjust the stylus distance on the SIG marking dot peen machine to achieve the desired dot peen quality. To do this, simply turn the locking clamp to the left. Adjust the stylus distance by turning it either to the right or left. Once it's set as desired, lock it back in place by turning the locking clamp to the right. As an example, when creating markings with a quality of sit, it is important to adjust the distance, ensuring it is neither too far forward nor too far backward to achieve optimal results. This adjustment will result in optimal marking outcomes. Now, let's see what happens when the stylus is set to far forward. As a result, the marking becomes less clear because the stylus is too close to the workpiece. Now, let's see what happens when the stylus is set to far backward. In this case, the stylus fails to produce any markings because it cannot make contact with the workpiece. That is the importance of precise stylus distance adjustment before marking. Now, if the distance has been correctly adjusted, but the stylus still does not function, it could be due to an inactive punch. Inspect the color of the punch indicator in the upper left corner of the screen. A green punch indicator signifies an active punch or capable of marking. while a red indicator indicates an inactive punch or used for simulation. To switch the red punch indicator to green, press this button. Conversely, to switch the green punch indicator to red, press this button. That's the tutorial on how to set up the stylus. For the SIG marking eMark, similar procedures are applicable to other series such as eMark 4XL, eTouch, eTouch XL, and more. Don't forget to like and subscribe for additional tutorials.